assists on the backhand now of Gonzalez from Maxim. He really needs to mix it up to the forehand. Lucky start there for Maxim, just catching the edge. We've seen a few fantastic wide forehands across. That's as good as any of them we've seen all weekend. Look at that recovery. Chris, how do you make it dip over the net and land on the table when it's so wide? Don't ask me. <laughs> I think that shot of the tournament, no doubt for me, to be honest. Fantastic, Colin. wasn't it? I think you did a few, but that was certainly as good as any. See the commitment. There's certainly no half shot, Tony. No, that's much better from Maxim. Mind you, it did come up for him, yeah, but he did. gave it everything. Yeah. Gonzalez will be looking to keep the chop much lower than that. Is now a lot more now. Maxim struggling to get the sorry Gonzalez struggling to chop the ball a bit lower now. Great start from Maxim. Thank you. Four zero. And that is just an amazing way to turn defence into attack. How do you combat that, Chris? I, I had that problem when I played him. <laughs> you, you think he's going to chop it, and then suddenly he's round there and smacks it past you. We're well, looking at the replay there. He does leave the wide forehand really exposed when he makes that, but you've got to commit to your counter topsman. If Maxim can see that one coming, maybe he'll switch to the forehand just as he runs round. Exactly. Or if Gonzalez doesn't get hold of it completely, Maxim can hit the forehand hard next time. So he can counter it. Exactly. Mm. Gonzalez still with his double point available. Obviously, it's uh, a brave man to uh, get to 4 0 down in the third set and not having used it yet. Yeah. Oh. So you've used Chris on when to use the double pointer. Very unique to this event. Yeah, well, I know it's a massive change with the Filipinos this year. Last year, I remember they were using it at 4 2 in sets, but this year they seem to be changing it, saving to as late as possible. Okay. A new double point strategy in this tournament. <laughs> Maxim almost calling himself for a wide there. Felt he missed that forehand by quite a long way. It's good if it's not cricket. Gonzalez might have got two for that one. <laughs> I do feel the sand has improved. I just get the feeling that if Gonzalez had played this well last year against Maxim last year, Gonzalez would probably win. But I think both players have improved over the year. As I think is Chris. Fair to say? Yeah, I think the standard of all eight quarterfinals in particular has been fantastic, really. You weren't, I didn't think there was particularly one, one side quarterfinal. No, all very, very <laughs> tough matches. That's a very, very high standard. Shmirev just ahead at 6-3, trying to stretch out a small lead. And that's a beautiful hit down the line. Four-point gap, change of ends. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Very subtle differences in the tolerance. Big roll for Maxim, he feels that that's a huge point, giving me a five-point lead. Gonzalez still not looking like using. Oh, oh. no, still not using his double <laughs> point ball. Amazing. Wait. Nine, three. So the match was called for something there, but clearly the ball didn't go off the. It didn't I, hit the edge I of the table. I thought it hit the edge, to be honest. You thought it did? Yeah. <laughs> really? And he's been given the point. Colin, yeah, I think. I think it hit the edge. Yeah. I missed that one. I thought that was off the end. If Gonzalez doesn't need that. No complaints, I'm sure you're right. And that's the counter that we were talking about from Maxim. Yeah. Maxim not really had to use his backhand at all in this match, but loosening up at 9 3 insider, he's playing well again now. Yeah, he's really turned the screw on Gonzalez, hasn't he? Uh, seven point lead now. It's 
been tough. He looks favourite now. That was a brave attempt from Richard Gonzalez, but the ball was so late, it was very low to the floor, very hard to, to hit the ball hard from that place. Yeah, very hard. Let's see, oh, finally taking the two point, really. Yeah, double point ball, yeah. Absolutely. Right. Well, let's see if he knows better than us. Yeah. Maybe he's got Maxim exactly where he wants him. Not quite. We can't make that one. So 12-3 in the final game. So Maxime Shmirov with a bit of a view to the final of this championships, which will be best of five games. Gonzalez still working away. Maxim has to play some good stuff to close this one out. Oh, terrific low shot to return there from Gon Gonzalez. You see it really surprised Maxim how low, just how low that bounced off the table. Beautiful forehand stroke production. So maybe the last chance to ask Chris during this game. Uh, what really makes Maxine the ping pong man that he is? Well, it's been brilliant to see him being a bit tested more this year. He's shown some great mental strength under pressure, and to be honest, just the all-round complete player, backhand and forehand. Yeah, he runs around a lot, but it's not because his backhand is weak. Mm. He's got possibly the strongest backhand of any of the players that choose to run around a lot. Yeah, we've even seen him forced away from the table a couple of times this year, and his defence looks solid too, even when he's having to chop. Mm. Great all-rounder. Yeah. Oh, picked up over to the other side. Saw Richard Gonzalez go to run round, switched it to the forehand, out of reach. And much like when against Ronge, as soon as he's tested, his level's increased in that final set. So, match point. Maxim Shmirev, just off. Fourteen seven for a place in the final and a guaranteed ten thousand dollars. That's a long chop. Beautiful defence from. Richard Gonzalez, a world-class player. Under the greatest of pressure, won't be beaten. Crowd behind the popular Russian, enjoying a good, long, tough match. And that's it, Maxim Schmirak through to the final for the third year in a row. Richard Gonzalez, fantastic, worthy semi-finalist, but two games to one. Maxim Schmirak beats Richard Gonzalez, goes through to the final. And that's the first finalist for this competition. Yeah, well done, Magic Maxim. Could Shmiriev make it a hat-trick of titles? It wasn't straightforward in the battle.